Hello and welcome back to Boxy Gaming. Today we're going to have a look at Tinker's Construct. Now this will just be an introduction. I'm not going to do everything in this mod because there is so, so, so much. <laughs> so cool. Let's get started. Now the first thing you will do is when you start a game with this mod enabled, you will get a hey, is a pig walking on a wall. You will get a book, and a book is called Materials and You Version One. Now 64 is a bit excessive. And later on, you'll get all these other books, and I'll show you when. So this first book shows you sort of getting started, blah, blah, you can read this. I would read it, it's quite interesting. Um, the berries are new, they're added with this mod, so you can smelt them down into uh, metals, which is quite nice. And then you have some, some stuff, like all the items you need really to get started. There's some traps and stuff, these are very minor things in this mod. I'm just going to handle the, the, the major stuff. So this is an important recipe, grout. As you can see, sand, gravel, and clay. And I've got that set up here as well, as you can see. And that makes some grout. Now let's uh, let's take some of that. Boom. It's very simple. Oh, another book. Nice. So this grout you can smelt into seared bricks. Like these. And those four together makes seared bricks. So this is seared brick. <laughs> So it works quite like clay, really. Like if you imagine this is clay, this would make a brick, and then you would make bricks the same way. Cool. So let's take some of those as well. Why not? Now you need quite a few of those, by the way. Cool. Then we get on with the next stuff. Uh, the seed bricks, you could possibly not make them at start and just skip it. So if you are playing ultra hardcore, for example, you would probably want to skip this at start and just get on with this stuff first. So this is the absolute basics that you will need to make use of this mod. The first is a blank pattern, which is very simple. Just two sticks and, and a wood and a wooden planks. Get some of those. You don't need too many of them, but a, a few to get started. And then come the actual tools, tools, and you can see them here in the middle. So the first one is the tool station, and that's just a crafting table with one of these blank patterns. Boom. The next one is the stencil table, which is a blank pattern with a plank. Simple. Very simple so far. Very cheap. Then we need the part builder, which is a log with a blank pattern. And then you can get the pattern chest. You really don't need this. It's just a, an extra. But why not, you know? I don't have any blank patterns in here. There we go. And that is pretty much all you will need to get started with this mod. It's quite simple. Cool. So how does it work? Well, first of all, you want to go to your stencil table and in your stencil table you want to put some blank patterns and then click this next pattern stuff. Now once you create all this stuff you get this book called Materials in You Part 2. And you can see here all the all the tools you can make. So pickaxes, there's shovels, hatches, all kinds of weapons. There's just so much. It's, it's amazing. Play with them. They're, they're very awesome. My personal favorites are probably Excavator, which is like a shovel that does an, an area effect. And the Hammer, which is mining 3x1, which is 3x3, sorry, which is pretty cool. Now, when you look uh, look at a page like this, for example, the, the Hammer, it'll show you some text, blah, blah, what it does. It also shows you the crafting parts. Yes, that's right. You need a crafting part. So instead of you know just making one recipe like a pickaxe, you will actually have to do this. So for example, a hammer consists of a hammer head, two large plates, and one tough rod. Now to make these items, you will first need to make a stencil. And the stencil, you're making a stencil table. So the blank pattern goes in here, and then here you can just click through all these. So if we wanted to go for a pickaxe, for example, we would get a pickaxe hat pet, uh, head pattern, and then we would go to look for the um, Tool. Oh, we also need a binding, which is this one, tool binding. And last but not least, we need a, oh god, I can always, no, there's a tough tool rod. A normal tool rod. If we can find it, there we go. So that is all we need for a pickaxe. Very simple. Next, you want to go to your pipe builder. Now, you can see I've got the pattern chest attached to this, and all it does is it gives you an inventory in here. So it's not necessary in any way, but you know, it's in a mod, so I thought I'd show you. Now, the way this works, whilst I get some cobble, is you can mash these patterns with different materials. And let me also get some iron, why not? Now, there is 
so many different things you can make, so many different materials. But we're just going to do a few of them. You can play with them yourself. The first of all, you will make, for example, pickaxe hat pat ha pattern. So you put this cobble, and that makes a stone pickaxe head. Now here it'll show you some uh, all the statistics. So base durability is 131, handle modifier is 0 0.5. Uh, the handle will be the tool rod once we make it. The mining speed is 4. Uh, this is quite slow. Mining level is iron, so anything up to iron you can mine. And attack damage is what, 0 0.5 hard, which we don't care about too much for a pickaxe. Cool. Done. Now we want to make the tool rod. Now the tool rod we can make, for example, out of stone. It's the same, so this is just uh, all the statistics for this material. Cool, done. And let's make a tool binding out of oops, out of cobble as well. Oh, there's a pick. Oh, we can't actually. <laughs> you can only use certain materials for stuff. Hmm, interesting. So let's get some paper. Paper is a very cool one. It's a very sp uh, special material. Some paper stacks on there. Boom. Could use a normal paper as well. Done. So now we go to the last one that we need. It's the tool station. And you can see here the, we the weapons you can make with this tool station. So we want a pickaxe. We can add our pickaxe head there. The rod there. And a paper binding there. And this will give us a pickaxe with durability 65. Mining speed 4. And a mining level of iron. And the modifiers is 4. Normally... On a pickaxe, you would get three modifiers, but a paper binding gives you one extra modifier, but it does have your durability. Yes. So remember that stone was 131 durability. Now it's only 65. That's because we use paper as the binding. Cool. So simple as that, we now have a pickaxe. You can see it's very slow, but it works. Now this tool doesn't break. You can just repair it. Uh, to repair it, just put it in there. Go to repair option here and just add some cobble. Boom, repaired. Now you can also name it as you can see here. And that's pretty much it. Now each material also has a special. So we go to materials and you you can go la 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 ultra this and then you get to the materials. So here you can see wood, it has durability, a handle modifier, etc. 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 Uh, you can see here, stone has a material ability called stone bound. So anytime you add anything of stone to a pickaxe, you will get this. And stone bound pretty much means that the more damage the tool is, the faster it starts to mine, which is quite nice. You can see iron has reinforced level one. Um, cactus has jagger, which does more damage. Reinforced three from obsidian, which is very nice. And there's a, there's a lot more of these. Cool. So that's how you make a basic pickaxe. Now, if you want to go for something a bit more complicated, um, I didn't lay these out handily, did I? For example, we want a iron head. We can't make this because, of course, iron would never go into a wooden stencil because that would just smelt. <laughs> that doesn't work. So for this, we need to start making um, a smelter. And this is a very cool part about this mod. So the first thing you want to do is make all these items. They're all made with seared bricks. So the first thing you want to do is get a tank, a seared window. All these recipes you can look up yourself. I'm not going to show them. A controller. Uh, by the way, the window is not necessary. It's just it looks better. Uh, some drains. One, one is enough, but I would go for two. A casting table. A faucet. And last but not least, a casting basin. Now, you don't need this. You don't need this at all. It's just good to have. It's just good to have. Cool. Now you want to start building your smelter. Now, your smelter always starts with a 3x3. Three three. And I'm just going to do it here because I can't be asked to dig. <laughs> and then next to that, you want to have the walls because else the materials will drain out. That's not what I want to do, but uh, sure. Sure, we'll just get a diamond pick and fix that up. You can see it takes quite a long time to get these seared bricks to mine. And that's because uh, this mod adds better picks than diamond. Very nice. They are expensive though. Cool. Uh, you don't need these corner pieces, by the way. I'm just adding them for why the hell not. So that's your basic, basic, basic setup. Not bad, is it? No, just sanding and, and grout and stuff, so cool. Now you want to start setting up the smeltery controller. 
right there for example a tank there and anything you want so I'm gonna put a window there now once this lights up you know you have done a good job cool you can right click on it open it this is the amount of items and this can extend uh, extend if you go higher so you make it higher this will be able to contain more uh, molten materials so then you can add more ores at the same time now if we get some gold ingots for example but you can also just put gold ore in there it does act as a doubler as well we can put some gold in there now i put two pieces in there and it'll start smelting once i put some lava in because how can you smelt something without lava you can't boom one bucket will be enough for now. And you can see this slowly going up. Now the cool thing is you can actually see the ingots in here. Nice. Don't stand in here though. You can actually get a uh, die in here. <laughs> it's just quite interesting. Now, what more do we want? Well, I actually messed this up a little bit because what we want to do is add another layer. And you don't have to do this, but generally you'd want to do this. And for this, we're going to use a smeltery drain. And the drain just goes on like that. And I'm going to put two on there, like that. Why not? On the drain, we put a full set. Tish, done. Then uh, let's put some stuff under it so we can actually have a base. Oh, this is the most ugly thing I've ever seen. Now, under one of them, you want to put your casting table and the other one, your basin. Now, this thing is not necessary. It's just a quick and easy way to, uh, to get stuff out. Nice. Gold. Gold is always good. I'm not sure if this will work because it's not closed off properly to that level. So I'll just uh, close it off. One ugly thing I made. <laughs> Looks cool though, doesn't it? Now, we can't put a stencil on this made out of wood because it will just melt. So what we need to do is, first of all, make a stone part. So we go to the part builder. And say we want to make a pickaxe head. We'll just make a stone one. And let's do the same for the tool rod. So we add, make a cobble one. And then we place these by just right clicking on the, ca on the casting table. Boom. Then we right click and we make a cool cast. Now you can only do this with gold or aluminum brass. And aluminum brass you make... Uh, with aluminum and some other stuff. But you can all read that in the book. So I'm not going to go through that. That's just going to waste time. Boom. Done. Now we have a pickaxe head cast. And we can place this on here. And then we can put uh, iron in it. Or anything else. We'll, I'll, I'll let you experiment with all the materials. And this cobble one we don't need anymore. So I'm just going to put it on the floor. Why not? Cool. So, did we, uh, did we smelt this? Yes, we did. So, we also want a stone rod. A cast for a rod. Boom! Done. Nice. Chuck that on the floor. Let's have a look. We now have these. We wanted to make it out of iron. So, we put one of these on there. And we start smelting some iron. Now, I'm just going to... Oh. I'm just going to smelt 18 iron at the same time. Why not? Now, an ingot will only get you one. If you smelt all, you will get two. So it it'll, it'll, it acts the exact same as a pulverizer, for example. So these 18 ingots will give us 18 uh, units, I'm just going to call it. If you use 18 ores, you get 36. So that, whilst this is smelting, which looks pretty awesome, by the way, uh, I'll just tell you, you can also put blocks in here. Um, so blocks of iron, for example, which is quite nice. And you can put a lot of other stuff in there. For example, glass works. You can make um, clear glass, which is very cool. I'll just let you experiment. All these things are, are not really necessary to say in a tutorial because you can play with them yourself as long as you know the basic layout and what to do. So I think this is done. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Boof. We right click this and we have ourselves an iron rod. Do the same with a pickaxe head. Boom, done. Now we can take these to the bench. Do we have another paper binding? No, we don't. Of course not. Why would we make one of those? Now you don't have to use paper for this, by the way, but I prefer it for now. Oh. So pickaxe, put the head in. 
paper binding and the tool rod. I don't know why it switches these up. And we've got a pickaxe with writable and reinforced one, because remember, we used iron for the parts. So this one has a durability of 324, which is much better. It also has a mining speed of six, which is better, and a mining level. Now the mining level is only, only dependent on the head. Okay, so we can call this uh, the pick. Take it out, boom, done. Nice. So this is a lot faster, although it's dirt, of course, so it doesn't really help much. Done. Now, there are more items available than just these. So you can see here's a pickaxe, shovel, um, hatchet, all these things, a frying pan, which is quite comical. There's a battle sign, there's a chisel. I'm not gonna go into this, but a chisel basically allows you to make cool, very cool blocks, but I'm not gonna get into that. Short bow, arrows, etc. You can play with them yourself. You can upgrade this table with some iron and some bricks, as I show you here. And it makes a tool forge instead of a tool station. And all it does is adds some extra items. So for example, the hammer, the lumber axe, which has um, felled trees on it. So you can actually get a whole tree in one go. Uh, the exca excavator, which is three by three digging and the scythe. Cool. Battle axe, cleaver. Nice. Just just read through them what they do. It's it's really up to you. Nice. Now, the next thing we want to talk about is the modifiers. So as we saw, this one has four modifiers remaining. Now, modifiers are quite cool stuff. And uh, do I have any items? No. What you can do is you can add materials to your items. Now, I'm just going to do a few, not all of them, but rest assured that you can just read this book and go all the way to the back. Oh, not this one. The red one. And go all the way to the back after all the materials. Doo -doo 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 and here from the diamond onwards, these are the modifiers. So you can see a pickaxe with a diamond changed the look a bit, but also adds 500 extra durability and a mining level has increased to level three. Level eight, sorry. I think that's an eight. Type single use. So you can only do that once. Uh, the next is an emerald, 50% more durability. Speed, which is redstone. Now, this is a, works a little bit differently, and I'll show you. Um, most of the others, and I would say most, not all, most of the others, um, one item on here will increase this, but with redstone you can actually increase it up to 50 and it will only use one modifier. So if we do this a few times, you can now see I have six. If I would go over 50, it would start another 50 and it will remove modifier. So if I would add 100 redstone to this pick, I would only have two modifiers remaining. Now, as you can see, now the mining speed is 6.48. If I do this, now it's 6.6. .6. So it's uh, worthwhile, you know, it makes it a lot faster. Cool thing is it also changes the appearance of the pick. You can see the little red there. So I already talked to you about the diamond one that you can add, the emerald one you can add. There's a lot more that you can add, but I'll just keep it to some of the basics. If you add lapis, you add luck, which is pretty much fortune. Um, you can add obsidian for reinforced. You can add moss for repair. So moss is just pretty much nine of the mossy stone, the mossy cobblestone. Uh, I can actually show you that, why not? And that will add auto repair. It is quite slow, but you can add multiple of them. So if you add three um, ball of moss, for example, you will use three modifiers, but your tool will also repair quite quickly, which is very nice. What else? Cool. We just uh, damaged this pick a little bit. So all we do is get some iron next to it and boom, it's repaired. Nice. Fixed. This has gone through pretty much the basics of Tinker's Construct. There's a lot more to do and, and most of it is just in figuring out which materials you want to use. Um, I should probably note that in the nether there's a lot more ores. So if we go a bit further here, uh, also I'll probably have to show you that the mod adds blue slimes which is a decent material, but not that great. Uh, slime is pretty awesome. These are the normal vanilla slimes. Uh, the durability is massive, 1500, if you use it for the head. Pretty awesome. Um, we talked about paper now. There's a few new ores. One is cobalt, one is iodite. These two are found in the nether. And to mine them, you will first need to get to a specific mining level, which is four. So to get a mining level of four, you can either add a diamond to one of your tools. That will work, I believe but also um, alumite will work. So alumite is made using obsidian, gravel, and iron, 
if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's in here somewhere. And that will work as well. So then you can actually mine the cobalt. And cobalt and iodide are only found in the nether, as I said. And then once you combine cobalt and iodide together, which I'll show you how to do, you can make a manulian or whatever it's called. And this is probably the best material in the game. But if you want to make a good, good pick, don't use only this. It's, it's not worth it. Try some cobalt on it, for example, because this has a mining speed of 9, whilst cobalt has a mining speed of 11, even though it's easier to find. Cool. So let's uh, do something very quickly. Let's see. Uh, we still have some iron in there, so I'm just going to get it into this basin. Now, I'm not going to be able to fill this up, but basically when you fill it up, it makes a block of iron. Oh, actually, I might fill it up. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Is there more left? Yeah. Oh yeah, I did 18 ingots, didn't I? So now I've got a block of iron. It's quite nice. Okay, so this uh, this should finish it up. Let's get some cobalt and some iodide, and I'll show you what we can do with that. So let's get some cobalt. Or this is how they look in the world. They're very, very easily to see. Very, very easy. Oh no, the rain! Stop! Stop raining! That's not what I was asking for. Okay, let's add these two. Let's have a look at it. I always love to look at this. It looks so cool. You can actually see the ores in there. Now, once again, you can actually put this higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And you can smelt more stuff at the same time, which is pretty awesome, to be honest. And if you play uh, Ultra Hardcore, you'll need it as well. Because <laughs> you can't smelt stuff the normal way. Or it's not cost efficient anyways. So how far along are we? Okay, about a quarter. Cool. Now, modifiers are pretty awesome. You can do so many things with them. And, and one thing that I should show you is when you have a tools like this, for example, it has three modifiers remaining. If you would add a golden block and a diamond together, you can add one modifier. You can also add a star. That will add a modifier, which is nice. And that's it, I think. You can also add, I think, a dragon egg, egg but I might have removed it. There was talk about removing it, but I'm not sure if they did. If I add a block of gold and a diamond to this, you can see that it'll have four modifiers remaining instead of three. You can only do that once, though. <laughs> you can't do that twice. Cool. Come on. Smelt. For oh, there we go. That's the iodide, and that's the cobalt. And together, they make a purple gooey stuff. Nice. Boom. And this is your Manulian pickaxe head. So that is very much the basics of Tinker's Contract. I know there is a lot more stuff going on, but you're going to have to find that out yourself. Uh, most are minor, though, like the blue slimes it adds. It adds a new boss mob that can spawn randomly in the world called the King Slime. Um, these are very basic stuff. Um, if I go to appmod.tinker's Construct, for example, you can see that it adds all this stuff. But the main part of this mod is just making tools. But you can see all these new blocks that you can make. Diamond brick, a redstone brick. Uh, it emits redstone signal, which is quite cool. Um, block of cobalt. There's so much stuff it adds. And most of these are made with a chisel. Yeah, you can see all the slimy stuff here. But it adds six pages of stuff. And most of it, these are the heads here. So that will be all for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I can answer them one by one. But I can't do a... Um, a tutorial with everything in it because that's just too much. There's your king slime. Hello. Look at that spawning. <laughs> oh, get away from me. It's got 100 health as well. And it hits quite hard as well. It's three hearts. Whoa. So thanks for watching. I'm going to run for my life and I will see you next time. Oh, God. Oh, my arm broke, I think. Oh, even my skin is ripped off. Oh, God. This is horrible. This is horrible. I will see you next time.